Hey guys, Annie here. Welcome back to My Mint Life. Happy New Year. Christmas is over. The New Year has been rung in. And now there's not all that much to look forward to. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips to get you through that January slump. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. My first tip for you guys is to change your mindset. I know a lot of us think of this as kind of like a, a boring slowdown, Christmas is over, all of the excitement, the lights, the presents, that's all gone. But if you start to look at it as an opportunity instead of a slowdown, I think you'll have much more success in kind of getting through this more um, inactive, boring time of year. One of the things you can do is jot down plans throughout the year. You can put everybody's birthday down, things to look forward to. You guys can plan just to get together with your friends, something simple, tea and cake. It doesn't have to be super elaborate. Just something on the calendar that you can look forward to to liven up your schedule a little bit. Another thing to do that kind of goes with my first tip is to get yourself a planner. Now these range in price a great deal. This is my old planner from last year and I do like it. I used it the entire time. I filled in pretty much every page, but it was 50 bucks. This little guy right here got the dollar spot in Target, $3. And it pretty much has everything my old planner has that I would use on a daily basis. It just doesn't have the more, like some of the bells and whistles, like a budget, um, a page for making a, a plan for something really large. Uh, and it doesn't have any goal setting. Um, to be honest with you, while I did use them, uh, they really aren't necessary for me. The main part of the planner that I enjoyed and that I really found useful was the day-to-day -day stuff. So this pretty much has everything that I need and this is actually what I'm going to be using this year. I'm not gonna be repurchasing that planner and I don't think I will purchase anything that expensive or elaborate again. It just, <sighs> once I used it, and figured it out, I realized that pretty much this is all I need. But if you wanted to get a really, really nice planner, you most certainly can. Erin Condren has great ones. The one that I use is the Living Well Planner. So, and there's a ton in the stationery section at Target that range from like 20 to 30 bucks. I'm sure Staples has some, there's a ton. So I highly suggest getting a planner, making some plans and using it to kind of get organized for the year. My next tip is to set a goal. Now, this is a famous time for resolutions. If you watched my resolutions video, you know that I have made several, but some people can be kind of uh, put off by them or even um, intimidated by making resolutions. So I highly suggest you set for yourself a very simple short-term goal. It doesn't have to be anything for the year. It can be for the month of January. It can even be for one week. Keep it simple, something that you can do to make yourself feel better, improve something, whether it be to pick one spot in the house every day to kind of get organized, a junk drawer, your dresser, what have you, or maybe it's drinking a glass of water as soon as you wake up, wake up in the morning by leaving a glass on your bedside table. Really anything goes and you can tailor it to fit you, your lifestyle, and things that you have been kind of thinking about but maybe have been um, a little reluctant to, to make an effort toward. So I highly suggest that it gets you motivated and it really just improves your outlook. Now, the next tip I'd like you to consider is to get out of your house, go outside, go do something. Around the holiday time, there were plenty of office parties and get togethers, family dinners. You go out shopping constantly. So there was a lot of opportunity to get outside and kind of stay busy. And I encourage you to do that in January as well. Go out, get your mail, take your time, look around, enjoy the fresh air, listen to the birds, look at the sky, what have you. If it's freezing out, obviously you can't really do that. But um, if the weather's, you know, fairly mild, get on outside and get some rays as much as you can during the winter months. But go to Target. Walk around and window shop. You don't have to spend money. You can just look around, see what's coming in for spring and kind of make plans. That would be a great way to get your mindset shifted toward a more productive, fresh perspective. You can go to Starbucks. If it's not gonna break the bank and you have a little bit of extra cash, treat yourself. If it's something that makes you feel good, go ahead and do it. Don't let people make you feel guilty. Do something that you enjoy that's not in your house. I promise you getting a new perspective will help you feel a lot better and a lot more motivated to start the year off right. My next tip is to refresh your surroundings. Get the Christmas stuff cleared out of the house, 
Maybe put out some fresh pillows, get a beautiful winter candle to burn, burn a new essential oil, make a change, do something that makes your house feel fresh and you feel refreshed by it. And now my last tip is to just enjoy the slowdown. The holiday season is incredibly busy for all of us and a lot of us get stressed by it. Yes, it's more exciting, but at the same time, you're kind of running around like a chicken without a head. You've got lots of stuff on your plate and now you can kind of rest and relax. Enjoy that time. Use it to refresh yourself. Sit down, relax, drink a cup of coffee. Enjoy the fact that you aren't as busy, that you don't have things to do, stuff to check off necessarily. Uh, now granted, nothing slows down 100% altogether. There are still things that you have to get done and usually they're a little bit more mundane in the month of January, but again, it's just a much less stressful time and really, really view it as that. Shift your mindset to a period of rest as opposed to a period of kind of slow down. Have a cozy movie night, put all the blankets and pillows out, watch a movie, pop some popcorn, do stuff that promotes rest, that's relaxing and that's fun. I promise you that you will feel so much better once you do. Okay guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you found some of these tips useful, helpful, informative, and I hope they get you through kind of like the um, the Monday of the year, basically. <laughs> um, anyhow, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.